Hey guys, Matthew here with Noah Road. Welcome back. I'm so glad to see you guys. So yesterday I did a few paint projects. Um, I did a lot of priming yesterday and cleaning because a lot of them had like that dust on it from the Goodwill, um, which is fantastic, but not what I want for this project. Um, I also was telling you that I was doing some apothecary jars and painting other candle holders. Um, they look fantastic. Let me show you what I got is this chandelier that I'm going to convert from electric to um, I guess actual candle. Um, but I ran into a challenge the other yesterday when I was working on it um, because I went to try and put screws in here to try and hold everything down but the threads are too fine so I went to the hardware store thinking I'm gonna have you know some options um, come to find out there's nothing there for me so um, I re-improvised or I improvised and cut off the the metal at the base because that's where the screw is and um, just went with it because it's easy fix um, but I do have to go through each of these and take off the decorative I guess sheath and um, cut out the hardware of it and then spray paint it um, actually priming so the first thing I did I had to remove the sheath on here um, I realized when I was putting this in my car that this is so fragile that it's literally like snapping off. Um, so when I was putting it in my car, like pieces of it were flying everywhere. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is go through um, and just clip off this electrical bit. Um, come on. Now, I think the whole thing was like originally like screwed in together but because it's so old like it's just you know popping off by itself um, so once I get this off screw 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 um, I will admit the last one I did I actually stripped come on, focus. I stripped this down um, and had more of a challenge with that so now that I have this taken out all I have to do is go through cut the wires off um, from here I'm going to cut this down so that way it's a little bit more flush um, the two of these do separate but it's easier if it's just you know together um, so I went ahead and did all of them I also took out the wiring that was in here because obviously no longer I need it um, I also don't need it for what I'm gonna hang it on to but I will keep the components just in case I need it um, so here is what's left over. All this is going to go to the trash. Um, so all I need now to do is reattach the now candle holder and then spray paint. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been about a couple of days since I primed the chandelier as well as the candle opera. Um, the candle opera and the chandelier both look absolutely fantastic. Um, I started out with using a black spray paint and ended up being a little bit too, too stark. So I went back with a gunmetal gray and I'm glad I did because it adds a little bit more of a natural texture to it, more wrought iron-ish. Um, also the Kennel Opera, I used um, the same gunmetal gray, but I used a little bit of gold accent on it just to give it a little bit more of a pizzazz. It looks so beautiful and looks traditionally wrought iron. And then down here is my candle opera. It looks so gorgeous. Um, so I did use a little bit of a gold glitter spray on top of the gold metallic just to give a little bit more interest. Um, just ignore my fire pit in the back. It's seen some better days, but I do get it over that. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.